Hello and welcome to part six of my Share My Life series. We just got done with the depressing bits of my life and I'm going to talk now about the best three years of my life that I've had um, so far. So in about the middle towards the end of 2016, I discovered a platform that all of you know because you're all here. I discovered YouTube and, you know, previous, I, I had been on YouTube before. I mean, I had actually been on YouTube like shortly after I graduated. I would go to the library and I would watch jib jab, um, political video. Does that mean, does anyone remember jib jab? They were funny or, um, you know, like my, me at the zoo, the first ever video on the platform. <laughs> Dang, I'm telling you what, I'm dicking myself right now. How's the relationship? Not bad. Um, but I actually discovered YouTube around the same time that I got my first real Android tablet. It was a little Galaxy Tab 3 Lite. It was, you know, it was, eh, it was pretty cheap. I mean, I got it from the local pawn shop for like a, a spare, basically. And, um... It was pretty awesome, and I'm like, what is this YouTube app? And I click on it, and I'm like, oh, I remember this. But I started watching videos from people like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and PewDiePie and The Odd Ones Out and, you know, all these great people that were, you know, just starting to get notoriety or were no, were big in the business and stuff like that. And I'm like, cool, this is awesome. And then about a year into my YouTube, so it actually started around 2015 that I discovered YouTube. Then around a year after I discovered and started watching YouTube, I found a guy by the name of Boogie2988. And you'll remember him because I, I often cite him as one of the main reasons why I started YouTube because we kind of have a lot of things in common where we both were at, at the start big guys didn't have a lot of notoriety but wanted to share our life lessons and just our opinion and you know give a little bit of peace and a little bit of understanding and a little bit of love to people every single day and I and he still try and do that even today but I watched a video from him titled how to YouTube, and he basically goes through how he started. Um, he starts out with saying, you know, realize you're not going to be good from the start. And I'm like, mm hmm And he's like, um, realize you need to practice, 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 practice. If you need to write a script or write bullet points, stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, uh -huh. I mean, I'm, I'm writing this down because I didn't, know how the notes function worked on my tablet. <laughs> Saw me using an actual notebook. Um, he's like, don't be afraid to mess up. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And then finally he says, just start. Start today. Start right now. And I'm like, okay, I'm starting. And my first video was crap. And my 10th video was crap. And my 25th video was less crappy. And then I got to about my 50th video. I'd finally somewhat gotten the formula down. And I'm like, okay, I might be able to do this. And so I started making videos and I started making videos about what I knew, which was nothing. So I made videos about practically nothing. Just me being me, checking in with people sharing my life, but at that point, since I didn't have an audience, I didn't have anyone that would care. It took about a year before I actually started getting actual viewers and actual subscribers. It took about a year to get to even like 15, maybe 100 follower subscribers here. And then, of course, it took up until about a month and a half ago to even breach a 1,000, and now I'm at what, 26, 2700, something like that. So, I mean, when you start growing, you start growing. I mean, I, mean, I know. <laughs> Bit of weight humor. But, I mean, seriously, it's just 
Boogie really inspired me to be myself, but also try something new. And these last few years have been the best of my life. I've really been super blessed to have the kind of family in you guys that I do, where um, I just, I have so many, so many people that love me, that respect me, that, I mean, that are practically encouraging me to keep going. I just got a comment that says, I found you on TikTok. You're an amazing person. And I'm like, thank you so much. I mean, so many people, so many people are just so nice and really just want me to be myself. And that that's an awesome thing. But no, I, I really just, it, it's an awesome thing to be a creator in this day and age. And yeah, it's not without its challenges. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, the, the YouTube algorithm changes on the uh, uh, almost as often as the wind. Um, there are co countless YouTube controversies and tragedies and everything else going on. There are people that are like, oh, well, this YouTuber is bad. That YouTuber is bad. This YouTuber caused the controversy. This YouTuber is doing something illegal. And so, you know, if you can't keep up with all that and just filter it out if you have to, it really does get to you. But being a creator is, you know, one of the best things I ever chose to be. And then there's you guys. I mean, I remember watching a video from Mark. Well, it was a music video for Markiplier with the song Other Side of the Screen, where, he, where Other Side of the Screen, where the song says, did I say enough that I love you from the other side of the screen? And do I seem sincere when I thank you? Because I mean just what I mean. And and now you're here with me. <laughs> I mean, really. It's so good to know that there are people that, even we're, even though we're separated by miles, by thousands or millions of miles away, that you still care enough about me to check up on me. To let me know you're watching. To let me know you're listening. To let me know that you're, you know, that you understand or that you've been where, I, where I've where i been or whatever. And it's just so awesome. This is the real power of YouTube. It's not, oh yeah, I'm YouTube famous. I mean, YouTube fame, I don't care. Making an impact for the better that I want to do. That's what I want to do. Even if it takes YouTube fame to do that, or even if it doesn't take YouTube fame to get to do that, I don't care. I just want to do that one thing. So discovering YouTube was really the best blessing I could have ever gotten. And then next time I'm going to be talking about my life today, what I'm doing, how I'm growing, how I continue to want to dream bigger, and what I'm going to be doing next. But as always, until next time, I want to thank you so much for watching and so much for sharing in my experiences here and beyond. And I want to thank you for being a fan and for being part of my YouTube family. And I'll be back when the day is new. And I'll have more stories for you. And you'll have things that you'll want to talk about. I will, too. Because it's you I like. Thanks for watching, and have a great evening.